If you've had a bankruptcy in the past and you are trying to invest in real estate, don't think that you still can't get loans. Don't think that, oh man, since I had this bankruptcy, it's over for me. No. As a matter of fact, today I'm working with someone who's had a bankruptcy in real estate and I have a highly profitable, low-cost destination rental property for him, right? Yeah, you could get all of that with a solid loan product, even with a bankruptcy in the past. Let's dive in. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS, and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Welcome to the show, folks. I am James Wise, and I am here to help investors like you invest in real estate. Yeah, and today I'm working with my man Terry. And Terry, you're from Maryland, and you want to get in the real estate space again. You've already been in the real estate space, right? It was something like 2008-ish or so. You had a bankruptcy, okay? You got beat down in the Great Recession, right? And you're getting back on the horse. Good job out of you, man. Getting back in the saddle, my dude. That's what I like to see, right? Getting back in the saddle. Getting back on real estate investing. And you reached out to me because I've sold over $200 million worth of real estate. And we provide the complete passive investor solution, right? Property management, maintenance, construction, insurance. The whole shebang, right? And I'm out here in the Cleveland market. You're in Maryland. But it doesn't matter where you're at because we handle investors that live everywhere, right? And at first, you and I. We were looking at some low-cost multifamily properties, right? But here's your situation. The type of loan you're using, you're using a non-recourse loan, right? Because you've had a bankruptcy in the past, okay? That's right, folks. If you've had a bankruptcy in the past, it doesn't mean you'll never be able to get a loan again. No, as a matter of fact, there are many ways for you to get financed. And here at Holton Weiss, we have a whole... Uh, inventory, Rolodex of lenders that work with investors, lenders that can work with investors who've had situations like this in the past. So if you would like that lender list, just go ahead and send my team an email, sales at holtonwise.com. While you're at it, why don't you give us your number? We could hop on the phone with you, talk to you, how you can work with me one-on-one -on -one like Terry. Heck, you could even click the show notes below and book your free call that way, and we'll get you that lender list. Now, with your situation, Terry, the lender that you're utilizing doesn't want to deal with properties that are 100 years old, right? Because they're not basing it off of credit and income. They're basing it off of the asset and the asset only, right? That makes sense if you've had a bankruptcy in the past. It also makes sense if there's poor credit situation, things of that nature. So the lender is going to lean heavily on the real estate, okay? And because of that, the lender's not willing to take the risk of doing a rental property for you that's like 100 years old, right? So that led me and you to target newer properties, right? So I've been targeting stuff that's built in like 1980 or sooner, which, as you found out, because that's what this process is, right? You're from Maryland. I'm here in Cleveland. I teach you guys all about the market. You found out we don't have a lot of properties in the Cleveland market built after the 80s. A lot of our lower income, low cost multifamily rentals are about 100 years old. So what I've done for you today, Terry, is I've switched gears a little bit, right? Very few options for us looking at the type of rental properties we were looking at before that are built after 1980. So what I've done for you is got you a very nice single family and the best way to make money off this single family is to run it as an Airbnb because it is a destination. It's next to a tourist area, next to Cedar Point and the lakes. And I am going to get into the exact structure of that deal right after this. Steve, what are you doing? Oh, nothing. Just saving money on my rental property insurance. Oh my, Steve. Take me now. Holton Wise. Real estate investing made easy. Wow, I'm so glad I clicked that link below. Welcome back, folks. 
here is the property. This is an incredibly nice location, right? People talk about the Cleveland market not being like a destination market for vacationers. And there is some truth to that, right? It's not Florida. It's not Miami, right? It's not L.A., okay? But people do come to Cleveland uh, to do some vacationing. We have a lot of stuff very close to the city of Cleveland, right? You have the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. You have the Cavs, the Browns, the Indians, all types of stuff, right? But we also have one of the largest amusement parks ever, which happens to be right on Lake Erie, which, of course, is one of the five Great Lakes in the United States of America. So we have one of the five biggest freshwater lakes, uh, and those big freshwater lakes, well, guess what? They got islands, right? So we have Putin Bay, Kelly's Island, Catawba, a lot of boating stuff. It's very big in the summer. And we also have Cedar Point, one of the largest amusement parks in uh, the country, okay? And this little town right there on the lake right by Cedar Point, right? It's called Vermilion, and that's the property I got for you today. 636 Guilford Road, Vermilion, Ohio, 44089. Priced at two hundred sixty nine grand, it just popped back on the market. It says seventy days here, but it was uh, on the market, got bought up or put under contract, I should say, and then through no fault of the seller, the buyer's financing fell through. Now we have the house back on the market, and it is a quite nice little home here, right? Just like a solid, nice little suburb, right? And we don't really need to do anything uh, to the inside, okay? This is what it looks like. It's pretty good, right? It's not, like, glamorous, but it'll get the job done, right? We may or may not want to repaint everything when the current owner uh, moves out. This is like an owner-occupied neighborhood, folks. So we're getting some nice stuff here, right? This is not like a neighborhood where the prices are going to be driven by rentals, right? Most people that live in this neighborhood live in their homes, right? Very nice stuff. you got the little slate shower. Uh, so the house is in, in great condition. After this owner does move out all their stuff, maybe we want to repaint it. We'll have to address that. Uh, it's hard to tell sometimes, right? Like, when you have a nice clean house, it looks good, but then, like, you know, you move this desk, you move this bed, and you see that there's, like, a different shade uh, of color on the carpet uh, from the rest of the room to under the bed. But more or less, it looks like this owner-occupant is taking great care of the property. You got the cool little bar area, which is perfect for what we're doing, folks. We're doing Airbnb Verbo, short-term rental property investing for people that are essentially on vacation, right? Everybody that's going out to Putin Bay. Everybody that's going out to Kelly's Island. Everybody that's riding the roller coasters at Cedar Point, man. This is what they want, right? Nice little tiki bar down there, a little bar, or I'm sorry, a little uh, dartboard area. I mean, this is all pretty slick, right? You got the movie posters for the little home theater action. This is what your vacationers want. Very big home. Nice, huge backyard for them. Play a little cornhole. This is going to be a solid investment, right? Built, uh, very new construction, right? Built in 1987. That is incredibly new uh, for the Cleveland housing market. This is what the listing agent had to say. Welcome home to this charming and updated four-bed, two-and-a-half bath located in Vermilion. Nestled on a quiet street, this Cape Cod features a serene aesthetic finished basement and two-car garage. The kitchen features remodeled cabinets and plenty of space for entertaining many guests or just having a private dinner experience. Main floor features a well-sized primary bedroom as well as additional bedroom and a full bathroom which has gorgeous walk-in tiled shower. Upstairs features a full bath and two very well-sized bedrooms. Uh, who, who says well-sized, man? Say big. Damn. Whatever, whatever, whatever. Full sunroom with heating allows you to enjoy all seasons in comfort while enjoying the nature view. And your wraparound deck for watching sunsets and entertaining guests. Finished basement includes brand new flooring as well as full tiki bar that will impress all your guests and has additional space. The finished rec room ideal for unwinding after a long day to watch movies with family or entertain guests for the game on Sunday, baby. Go Browns! New roof in 2019, that's big. That's like a $7,000 roof. It's going to last 30 years. Energy-efficient heating and cooling added in 2018, also big, right? Furnace and AC, that's like six, seven grand. Usually lasts about 30 years. Premium sound system throughout the home. Talk about good stuff for the party, right? Am I right? Because that's what we're doing. We're providing 
a good quality experience, vacation experience for people, right? All appliances included. Great. Doesn't have to be coming out of your pocket. All while being minutes from Lake Erie and Charming, downtown Vermilion. All you have to do is set your furniture down and move in. You do not want to miss out on this beautiful home set an appointment today, right? Some other good stuff about this house and things I really dig uh, is there's no HOA in this neighborhood, right? HOAs are tough, right? Oftentimes, if you buy a property uh, with an HOA, you're dealing uh, with, with leasing restrictions, right? And typically HOAs, they don't like to see um, they don't like to see uh, rentals sometimes, long or short term, right? But a lot of times, no short term rentals. Sometimes they go so far as to even limit your ability to rent it to long term tenants, right? And as you can see, here is the property, and we are right down from friggin' Lake Erie, okay? Looks like we got just all types of goodness. Nice little park action right there. So you got Lake Erie, you got Putin Bay, you got Kelly's Island, you got Cedar Point. All that's good. So what does that mean for us? What do the numbers look like, right? Well, they have it at 269. I believe it's going to move. It's a nice, desirable area. So we got to be aggressive. We'll come in at 265. If we can't pick it up at 265 and you got to pay list, you got to pay list. It's still a solid deal. Doesn't look like we need to do any reno. Uh, like I said, though, right, after we move out the furniture and whatnot, we may need to do a little cosmetic touching it up, right? We'll see what it looks like empty, but no biggie. Just minor stuff, right? Paint carpet. No biggie. Uh, we'll budget out about 25K, right? Mostly furnishings, big screen TVs, things of that nature. If we got to do a little painting, it could probably come out of that budget. So all told, I believe we'll be into this investment for 290 It's a big old home, four bed, three bath. We'll be able to advertise the maximum guest amount on that sites like Airbnb, which is 16 So uh, we should be projecting out a 375 a night rent okay of course we're not renting it every day right so we're not getting eleven thousand six hundred twenty five dollars in rent don't get excited no after your fixed and variable expense estimates including at least a 38 percent vacancy the true cash flow on this in my opinion is going to be about 4500 right so we should be making just shy of 55k per year on this asset right all them people Riding the ferries to Putin Bay, riding the ferries to Kelly's Island, chilling on the boat in Catawba, or riding the Top Thrill Dragster or what have you. By the way, folks, I got to let you know, I freaking hate, I hate roller coasters. Like, I hate them so much, man. Like, I don't know what it is. Like, I feel like after watching Final Destination, I was just done, right? I got this fear that, like, the thing is just going to pop off, right? Like, the... The like zitted up teenage kid picking his nose, like putting you on the the freaking roller coaster. I don't have trust in that guy to make sure my thing is locked. But that's just me. That's just me. Don't let that deter you. A whole bunch of other people love roller coasters. Like I'm not gonna stay in your Airbnb, but like a whole bunch of other people will because they love roller coasters. Anyway, back to the numbers. So, all in 290. The only money out of your pocket should be 91 and a quarter, right? We're talking 66,250 that you bring to the table in cash for the down payment, 25 for the furnishings, which you don't even have to pay for the furnishings in cash. If you want, you could pay Holton Wise via credit card with that. So you could finance that whole shebang. Lender kicks in 217 and a half if everything goes according to plan. We are projecting a 47.6% return on your money, right? 30-year terms, high-quality investment, no HOA, built in 1987, the year James Wise happens to be born, right? So this is a 34-year-old house in a real estate market that's super-duper cheap but typically has 100-year-old homes. And you're getting it for 133.70 a square foot if you pay list. But again, I think I can get you a 5K discount. This deal is going to be a gnarly one and more information on how Holton Wise will handle all of the short-term rental property management, renovations, the whole shebang, furnishings, the listings, everything. We do it all. It's 100% passive. That's in our fact on HoltonWise.com. Let me know what you want to do. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.